win. Say win. All right, so here we go, y'all. Uh, we're gonna make biscuits today. Um, homemade biscuits. This is three and a half cups of flour. This is one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder, because I'm trying to get some lift out of these. Hopefully I can get them to come up. We got a little over two cups of nice thick buttermilk, super fatty. I got a whole stick of uh, unsalted butter that I had in the freezer getting it really cold. I'm going to grade this down with a regular old box grater right quick. You see it grades up really nice like that when it's uh, cold. I wash my hands first. First things first, wash your hands before you start putting your hands in the biscuit dough. And I felt like I had to make some biscuits. We went and saw the Tar Heels play, uh, play basketball against Florida State. Had a great time at that. We scored over 60 points in the first half. First time I've seen that happen since I don't know when. And for all those fans there and the little boys behind me, we didn't hit 100 and we didn't get our free biscuits. So I'm making us some biscuits today. Everybody was chanting for them free biscuits yesterday, but we didn't get no free biscuits. So I had to make my own biscuits today. So we'll see how quick this goes together. I've almost got my butter grated. I've got my oven already preheated to 450 degrees. Biscuits, usually people want to cook them hot like that so they get a crisp top and get nice and brown. Um, one thing about that is I always don't like that the bottom of my biscuits get a little bit too brown for my liking. And... Um, I like to use the air pan, which is for usually for like cookies and I guess anything really that's really fatty, like this is going to be pretty fatty. So you got a whole stick of butter, we've got full long buttermilk. You could use lard for this, but I don't have lard. And you could probably use more butter, but I'm going to brush these with butter at, butter at the end. All right, let's put in our dry ingredients. Mix these around. Still gonna get our biscuits. I'm not gonna pour all this in right at once because I'm not sure how it's gonna be. And you don't want your biscuit dough too wet. And you don't wanna overwork it. Because then you'll have tough biscuits, and that's not good. But I've learned the hard way that if you don't fold the biscuits a few times, they really don't hold together very well, and you don't get any of those um, the layers so that they'll come apart nice. And I'll show you what I mean by folding them once we get them out on this flour countertop, which I also cleaned profusely before we started, by the way. <laughs> Must be clean. Might be a touch more buttermilk, but not quite sure. It looks like we need just a little bit more. Not much because we are very, very close here actually. Thank you. That was some help from off camera. I don't know if you got a shot of that. <laughs> My lovely wife helping me out here. Looks like I might not need that after all.
see this is uh, got some wet, some dry. It's kind of what you're looking for in a biscuit dough. You don't want it to be um, too wet when you start or too dry. So we're trying to incorporate this a little bit we'll get it worked out here. Now this is a big batch of biscuits. I don't normally do one this big. We'll see how it turns out. She's feeling nice and fluffy already. I like that. I hope that means it's going to rise real nice. We'll find out in a little while. We'll take an end shot. Maybe use that for the thumbnail. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it, everyone. You can see I'm trying not to overwork this. Buttery bits off my fingertips. Hmm, there's probably some uh, DNA in there too, but I think that'll be okay. We're going to pretend that that didn't happen. We're baking it, folks. It's not going to make a difference. Get the stick out of your butts. It's biscuits. People used to do this beside a fire and cook it in a cast iron skillet with a lid on it. I think I've seen that before. But, uh, you know, I feel like I can do it a little bit better than that. Like this. Alright. These are going to be pretty fat biscuits, y'all. At least that's what I'm shooting for. Hoping they're going to rise up nice. See how many we can get out of this. You can see I'm throwing this together. It's not a perfect science. These are biscuits. The important part is not overworking it, using good ingredients. And don't be afraid. I didn't use any recipe for this. I've just made a lot of biscuits and I just kind of went at it. So the um, proportions that I gave you, if this don't work out great, you shouldn't have to do much but tweak it a bit to make it whatever you like, however you want your biscuits. But I think that when these are done, we're gonna find out that they're pretty that gum good. bit more flour mix out there. You want to tell them the baby hmm? Yeah, uh-huh. My wife is talking about what I'm getting ready to do here for y'all at the end of this. When I was a little boy, I got to go see my great granny a couple times up in Virginia. Now, I didn't get to meet her very many times, only a couple times in my life. She was a tiny little old lady. She seemed pretty all right to me and at the end when we was running out of dough she was making biscuits she took and she made a little baby biscuit for me just a little baby biscuit my uncle Harold he come up and ate my baby biscuit that she had made just for me and I cried and I was like oh granny papa I'll ate my baby biscuit and she said don't you worry darling I'll make you another baby biscuit she did. So there's a couple little baby biscuits in honor of my great granny. She lived up in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Like I said, I only ever got to meet her a couple of times. 
but uh, she seemed like a nice lady. And there's a little hand tossed one at the end for my last little bit. Alright, we'll take an end shot of these and we're just going to bake for probably about 11 minutes. And I'm going to brush them with butter at the end. And hopefully they'll look good when they come out. Like I said, we'll take a shot and see how they turn out. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> if I can spit that out. And uh, thanks for watching.